Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new then welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are diving into the web request module from HTB Academy. So let me click on start. This module is a part of Bug Bounty Hunter program like it's a first module in the series and required 10 cubes to unlock it. And throughout this module, we will explore HTTP web requests and how various web applications use them to interact with their backend. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first topic is related to HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Uh, this is a fundamental protocol used for communication on the World Wide Web and it defines the rules and standards for how messages are formatted and transmitted between web servers and client. And this uh, protocol runs on port 80, as you guys can see here. Next topic is URL, and we all know the full form of URL, that is Uniform Resource Locator. And it is a reference or address used to identify resources on the internet and uh, specify their location. Uh, and in simple terms, a URL is what you enter into a web browser address bar to access a specific web page or resources. And here you guys can see the components of the URL that is scheme, user info, host, port, path, query string, and fragments. You guys can read this theory part. Then we have CURL or curl. Uh, it's a command line tool and library for transferring data with URLs and it supports various protocols such as HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SFTP and many other. It is widely used in scripting and automation to fetch or send data to servers, uh, making it a versatile tool for tasks like uh, testing APIs, downloading files or debugging network related issues. And as you guys can see, we can use curl command and you have to provide the domain name. Okay. Uh, let's scroll down and let's see the questions. Uh, I am already connected to the VPN of Hack the Box. As you guys can see, the initialization sequence is completed. Let me let me go back and let's click on our target system. So to get the flag start the above exercise then use the curl to download the file returned by download.php in the server shown above okay so let me just go to my terminal and first we'll use the help command we have to write curl hyphen h to get the help menu okay hyphen d is used for http post data H is for help. I is to include protocol response header in the output. It is same as a verbose mode. As you guys can see here, hyphen V. Make the operation more talkative. We also have this flag that is silent. Hyphen S that is silent mode. And if you want to see all the category, you just have to write curl. Curl hyphen hyphen help all. Okay. And if you hit enter, you will see all the switches that we can use. We will use a couple of these switches in our next exercises. Let me show you. We'll use this particular switch uh, to specify request method to use. Like we have different methods uh, like get, post, delete, put. We'll use that. Then we'll also use hyphen h the capital h flag let me scroll up okay this one it's capital h it is for header like pass custom header to server we'll show you how we can use the hyphen h flag okay now let's Now let's make a basic request to google.com. Curl google.com. It's a domain name. Let me hit enter. And let's write 
hyphen b in a Virgos mode. So you will see a lot of details here uh, connected to google.com. This is a method, get method. Host is Google. User agent is curl. Content type field and content security. These fields are important. This is a date. So this is how you can use the curl command to fetch the data. Now let's go to our exercise and copy our target IP address. Let's see. Okay. This page is intentionally left blank. Using CURL should be enough. Okay. So let me copy it. Curl. And we have to fetch this particular page that is downloads.php. Okay. Download.php. And let's hit enter. And yes, we have got our flag. Let's copy it. Exercise one is really simple. So let me submit it. Okay, great. I'm going to mark it as complete and next. Okay, next section is related to hypertext transfer protocol secure. Uh, that is HTTPS. And I think it's just a theory part. Uh, so see URLs for HTTPS. It automatically handle all HTTPS communication standards and perform a secure handshake. And then encrypt and decrypt data automatically. As you guys can see, we can use CURL uh, with HTTPS protocol, right? And this switch is important, that switch hyphen K. Uh, to skip the certificate check with CURL, we can use the hyphen K flag. Okay, now I'm going to mark it as complete. Next topic is HTTP request and response. Both are important. Uh, as you guys can see in HTTP request, uh, we got three main important field. Uh, that is method, path and the virgin. Uh, make sure that you guys read these notes. Uh, then we have HTTP response. Uh, in HTTP response, like we get this response from the server. So it contained two fields. Uh, that is separated by spaces. The first one is HTTP version and the HTTP response code that is 200 OK. Uh, that means it's a success code. Uh, then we have CURL here. Next topic is browser dev tools. And here we can see that uh, whenever we visit any website or access any web application, our browser sends multiple web requests and handles multiple HTTP responses to render the final view we see in the browser window. And to open the browser dev tools in Chrome or Firefox, we can click on Control Shift plus I or simply click F12. Okay. And then we have to go to this network tab. So let's scroll down and uh, see our question. The first one is, what is the HTTP method used while intercepting the request? So it's simple. It is get method we use to intercept the request. Uh, let's submit this. Yes, correct. Now send the get request to the above server and read the response header to find the version of Apache running on the server. So Apache server is running. We have to find the version of Apache, right? then submit it as the answer format is like this okay so let's copy our server ip address let me clear the screen curl hyphen v okay let me write http okay now let's hit enter so apache 2.4.41 is running 
let me copy this let's go back and paste our answer here let's submit it and yes it's correct let's mark and complete next topic is http headers and we have seen the examples of http request and response header in our previous section these are the categories of headers like five categories general entity requests response and security headers and uh, you guys can read these notes and make sure that you guys read the request headers carefully uh, because we'll use uh, these header values like cookie and authorization like basic authorization uh, another method for the server to identify clients after successful authentication okay then here we have response headers and in response header we can set cookies and uh, we can also authenticate you know the basic authentication we can also set that and then we have the security header and make sure that you guys read it then again we have the CURL topic that uh, in our previous section we saw how using the hyphen v flag with CURL shows us the full details of the HTTP request and response and if we were only interested in seeing the response header then we can use the hyphen i flag to send a head request and only display the response header so if you are interested in the response header only you guys can go with the hyphen i like capital i switch and it will give you the response header okay okay we can also utilize hyphen a switch here to set our user agent as follow user agent basically your web browser so here we are using the mozilla 5.0 and then we have the dev tool in the network tab we can view the different uh, requests made by the page let's see our question let me start the target machine and uh, the question is the server above loads the flag after the page is loaded uh, use the network tab in the browser dev tools to see what requests are made by the page and find the request to the flag okay it's very easy let me copy this and let's paste it here hit enter okay recommended module let me right click on it and go to inspect uh, go to network tabs that's all let me refresh it and let's search the flag and as you guys can see we have got the flag you just have to double click on it and you will be on this page this is our flag let's copy it and let's paste it here and submit it okay it's success that's cool so let's mark this section as complete and next so the next section is related to http methods and codes uh, it's very important you know or http methods like we have get method post head put delete options and patch uh, so the response codes are really new to me like uh, i know the response codes like 200 uh, 302 400 series 404 not found we all know this 500 is internal server error so it's a theoretical section related to request methods and response codes okay so i'm gonna click on mark complete and next okay so the next section is related to get uh, method and here we can see that whenever we visit any url 
our browser defaults to a get request to obtain the remote resources hosted at the URL. We all know this, right? Uh, next topic is HTTP basic auth or authentication. Uh, basic authentication is the simplest form of HTTP authentication where the client sends the username and password uh, encoded in base64 format over the network. And it is not very secure on its own because the credentials are only base64 encoded, right? Uh, you guys can see here to access the page, we have to enter a valid pair of credentials which are admin admin. Uh, this will be our credentials for this exercise. Uh, let's scroll down and here you can see how we can utilize curl command. Okay, so let me just scroll down. And uh, let's first start our target machine. And the question is, the exercise above seems to be broken. As it returned incorrect results, use the browser dev tools to see what is the request it is sending when we search. And use CURL to search for flag and obtain the flag. Okay, so let me just copy this. And let's paste it here and let's hit enter so we have to write the username that is admin admin and let's sign it don't save it so basically it's a search application like we have to search the city name uh, we've got Leeds and Leicester so let me just copy it now let's use the cURL cURL hyphen v and let's hit enter okay as you guys can see we are using the verbose mode right and the host is this authorization required so we have to provide credentials to access the application so our credential is admin admin right let me clear the screen and here i will write admin admin at the rate and the ip address and the port number okay let's hit enter yes as you guys can see the type type a city name and hit enter okay so we are successfully logging to the site by using curl command right cool let's scroll up and as you guys can see this application is using the basic authorization or authentication so let me copy it it is base 64 encoded so let me paste this authorization here so now we know that this web application is using the basic authentication. So let's try to manually set the authorization. And we are not supplying the credentials this time. Okay. So we, we can see like this application allow us to access the web page or not. So we can set the header with the hyphen h flag that I have shown you earlier. So let me remove the credentials okay and uh, let's go with the hyphen edge it is for header and i'm going to provide our basic authentication it will be in single quotes so this is going to be our command that is curl hyphen edge we are providing the basic authentication here and then we are providing our IP address and port number okay now let's hit enter and yes we are authenticated we got the page okay now let's go to our Firefox and I'm gonna open the dev tools and let's go to network and I'm gonna hit enter 
and here we have the request let's again search for le okay and let's hit enter and as you guys can see this request is getting to this search.php page okay search.php search is equal to le you guys can see the headers here as well so the git is fetching this that is search.php page search is equal to le this is the result we are fetching from the server and uh, here we can see the status code that is 200 it's a success code here we have response header and here we have a request headers right uh, let's go to request okay in request there is no payload go to response please use the url go to cookies no cookies for this site okay so we know that the, this get parameter that is search is equal to le is used in the url right so this help us to understand that the search function request another page for the result that is search.php right so now we can send the same request directly to the search.php to get the full search results so we can utilize the curl for that okay so now we can use the search.php to get the results now let's copy this and let's use the url because we are already authenticated right we, we have to search the city name here okay so for that what we will use we'll use curl command curl hyphen h okay this portion will be same okay but i'm going to provide this request okay that is curl http here we are providing our ip address search.php and we are searching le okay and here we are providing our header for authentication now let's hit enter and we have got results leads los angeles seattle nashville okay now instead of le let's search for flag and let's hit enter and yes we have got our flag let's copy it and let's paste it here and let's submit it yes it's correct and uh, yes we have used dev tool to see what is the request it is sending when we search so it is sending uh, the request to the search.php page and then use the curl to search for flag and same thing we have done here we have searched for flag okay next section is related to post method and uh, here they are talking about the data location of the post method like the post request sent user parameters within the http request body not in the url okay so make sure that you guys remember this point and here we have the benefits of using post method like the lack of logging uh, that means large files are not logged in the url and it will prevent the cluttered server logs and then we have less encoding requirement uh, like the post uh, method handles binary data and doesn't require url encoding for that data okay then we have more data capacity a uh, post method can handle large amount of data compared to the url length limitations in the get request okay and we can use tools like curl and browser div tools to send and inspect the post request and we will see that in this exercise let me scroll down and first we'll start our target machine so let me click on that and our question is uh, obtain a session cookie through a valid login and then use the cookie with curl to search for the flag through a json post request to search.php so we know that search.php page is available and the credential for this application is admin admin so let's copy the url 
and let's paste the URL here. I'm gonna open the dev tool and let's go to network and now let's hit enter. Let's provide the credential admin admin. Let's log in. Don't save. So here you guys can see the post request. So this is our cookie. Let me enable this raw form and the request payload is user name is equal to admin and password is equal to admin. So we have this request data. Uh, so let's try to send the similar request with CURL. Okay. So let's go to our terminal and I'm going to write curl hyphen x post hyphen x flag is to send the post request. Then we have to add our data with the help of D flag and let's provide our credential that is username and password and I'm going to provide the link here. So let me copy it. Okay, I'm sorry. And now let's hit enter. And yes, we are successfully logged into our application. As you guys can see, type a city name and hit enter. That means we have got the cookies right okay for get the cookie we have to write this flag that is hyphen i let me hit enter and let's scroll up and here you can see this is our cookie okay let me copy this and let's paste it here so now we have our cookie value and with this uh, authenticated cookie we should be able to interact with the web application without needing to provide our credential every time so let's see how we can test this cookie so we have to set this cookie with a flag i forget that flag let me write curl hyphen hyphen help all and i'm gonna use grip command to search for cookie okay let me hit enter and yes this is a flag that is hyphen b that is used to send cookies from string file okay so we're gonna provide curl hyphen b let me copy our cookie value copy the url paste it here hit enter and yes we have login to our application you can also specify the header as a cookie at this time i'm using the hyphen h the header flag and you will get the same result okay so let's go to our firefox and uh, now let's search for the data so for that let me clear the network tab let's search le and let's hit enter now we can see this search.php page okay so let's go to the request tab and uh, let's enable the raw data and it's a json text right the request payload let me copy it so our command will look something like this let me clear the screen curl hyphen x post hyphen d and we have to provide our search string here like the json string hyphen v is to provide the cookie so let me copy the cookie and let's provide the url and let's write search.php and now let's hit enter so we have to add the content type header because the content type header tells the server how to interpret the data being sent in the request body okay so we have to add hyphen h content type application json okay now let's hit enter this is the result that we want now we have to search for the flag same command but instead of searching for le we have to search for flag okay flag let me clear the screen and let's hit enter okay we have got the flag let me copy this let's go to our academy let's paste our flag here and let me submit it okay let's click on next and the next section is related to crude api so in our previous section 
uh, we explored the city search app using the php parameters now we will see how this application uses apis to achieve the same functionality and interact directly with the api endpoints so let's talk about what is apis and we know the full form of api that is application programming interfaces and uh, apis are tools that let different software programs talk to each other uh, in simple word and they specify how the request for data or services should be made so here we have the api theoretical part and here we have crude operations like create read update delete and these are the http method that we used for these operations you can read the description of this operation let me scroll down and let's see our question okay let me start our target machine and our question is first try to update any city's name to be flag then delete any city once done search for a city named flag to get the flag okay so let me copy the target machine ip address and let's paste it here let's hit enter okay so we already know that we have this api.php page okay so let me okay so incorrect table name okay let's write city and let me close this it's an api endpoint uh, that appears to be a simple restful service and it provides the information about cities in json form okay so let me copy this url and let's use the curl command to fetch the same result so i'm gonna write curl will provide the url and let's hit let me clear the screen and let's hit enter okay the result is not formatted let me clear the screen and we'll use the jq utility okay i'm sorry it should be in a small letters jq okay okay it will format it properly so let me use hyphen s flag to silent any unneeded curl output okay let's hit enter now it's more readable okay so our task is to first update the city name as flag okay so let's select the port lang as the city name and we'll update the city as flag and for that we will use the following command so we are going to use the hyphen x flag so that we can provide the http method that we are going to use and in this case we are going to use the put method because we are updating the resources right we are updating this city name from portland to flag okay with the help of curl so let me hit enter okay now let's search for the city name that is flag and we are going to use this command we are searching for flag hyphen jq okay so we'll see that whether we have updated the city name or not so let's see yes the city name flag is there now our next task is to okay first we have update the city name as flag then delete any city okay so we have to delete the city okay let's see how many cities we have i will write this okay let's delete birmingham city name is birmingham and the country is uk let me clear the screen okay so we will delete the birmingham city uh, with the help of delete method okay now let's hit enter and let's see if we have the birmingham city or not as you guys can see we don't have that city and now let's search for flag and yes this is our flag so let me copy this submit our flag wow weekly goal is complete 
let me click on finish and we have successfully completed this web request module from HDB Academy okay let me close this so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you like it if you did then please share this video with your friends who are learning about bug bounty and interested in penetration testing and make sure that you guys are subscribing to my youtube channel i'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning Bye bye